Hi everyone. Today we are going to be drawing a self portrait that folds and unfolds with a mask on to open up and reveal our beautiful face underneath. And I'm going to show you step by step how I created this and you can follow along with me at home. If I go too quickly, you can pause the video, rewind, rewatch a step, get yourself caught up. Okay, I'm going to start with my paper oriented vertically, that's tall, and I'm going to fold the bottom edge completely up to the top, folding the paper in half. So I'm going to try to match my corners, make sure that's even across the top, and then crease it in the middle. What I have now is two sheets of paper at the top, you see these two, and then I have the fold here at the bottom. I'm going to take just the top layer of this paper and pull it all the way down to the bottom at the fold and line it up. And then I'm gonna crease it there. That's all the folding. So what that's going to give me is a section that unfolds and opens, leaving a large section at the top where you're gonna be able to see your beautiful face. And then the folded section at the bottom that's gonna be the mask that will cover it whenever it folds back up. I'm gonna to draw today with a marker so that you can see it more easily on your screen, but I would like you to draw this in pencil only to start, especially um, so that you can erase it if you need to as you go. Okay, I'm gonna start with the top part of my head here and make a rainbow line that goes from the very top of this fold um, to the top of the fold on the other side. And I want it to be pretty big because I want it to be to fill up the page, but I don't want it to be too wide because if I make this rainbow really wide, it's gonna make my head look like a football shape and I want it to be more of an oval or an egg shape. Okay, then I'm gonna continue underneath, connecting my rainbow line to give me a chin underneath. And I'm gonna make it just a little bit more narrow at the bottom, like the shape of a chin. Your head shape is kind of like an upside down egg. Then I'm gonna draw a curved line at the very top edge of this fold. And this curved line here at the edge is going to be the top of my mask. Um, you can design and decorate your mask a little bit later on, okay? My ears are also going to pass over this fold on both sides of my head. And even if your hair covers your ears, I'd still like you to draw them. I'm gonna start with a bump right above the fold that is very close and touching your head on both sides. That's going to be like a lowercase letter N. That is going to be the top of your ear. Then you're going to bring that line down and connect it back into your mask on both sides, down and in. So there we have a bald head with ears and a mask. Okay, I'm gonna open up my paper now and I'm going to continue my drawing. You'll notice the top part is still there. I'm gonna continue the chin and ears um, underneath because when I take my mask off I still have a chin and I'm still gonna have ears so I'm gonna continue that and you'll notice when it's open there's a lot more space here and so that's where I'm going to put my neck so that I don't look too much like a floating head okay and now we're all set up with our basic shapes we're ready to add our base features. Okay, so I'm going to refold my paper so that I have my mask covering my face and I'm going to start by drawing my eyes. And your eyes are actually in the middle of your head and we tend to draw them up too high. So they don't belong way up here. They belong right above your mask, um, right in line with your ears. And your eyes are three parts. You're going to first draw the center of your eye, which is the pupil. That's the black dot in the middle. And this looks a little bit funny right now. It's not because it is wrong. It looks funny just because it's unfinished. Um, I'm gonna draw the second part of my eye is the um, iris. And that's the part that's a, actually a circle around that dot. And that's the part that is colored. So my eyes are blue. So later on, I would color these blue. But if your eyes are brown or green, um, we'll add the color later, okay? And then the third part of your eye is your eyelids that actually create a football shape around your eye. So I'm gonna start with a rainbow line over the top on both eyes, and that actually touches the top of that circle there, if you notice. And then I'm gonna also add a rainbow line 
or a U-shaped line, upside down rainbow on the bottom. Okay, if you'd like to give yourself eyelashes, now would be the time for that. You don't have to, it's up to you. We're going to draw our eyebrows next. So skipping a small space above our eye, um, you notice we have a very large forehead. That's correct, okay? If you didn't have hair and if you didn't have eyebrows, you would have a large forehead like this. Um, we are going to draw our eyebrows, and I would like you to just draw the shape of an eyebrow because you're using a pencil, and, and I know that you don't have gray hair. So I don't want you to color your eyebrows gray with the pencil. Just draw the shape for now, and we'll color them the right color next time, okay? Now your hair belongs actually on your head as part of your head instead of on top. Um, a lot of times we draw hair incorrectly by drawing it above our head, but it actually belongs on the top of our head. So my hair is long and it has a part in it on one side, so I'm gonna draw a line down that's gonna be the part in my hair, and I'm gonna draw my hair line that connects to each of my ears because my hair is pushed behind my ears. And then I'm gonna have um, just a few lines that show the direction that my hair is going. Again, I don't want to color in my hair with my black marker or my gray pencil because that is not the color of my hair. Okay, my hair is long, so this hair here will connect and go behind my ear and come down beside my mask and it will just lay like this. If your hair is short, um, or if you have bangs, your hairline is gonna look a little bit different. It might be um, straighter across, and you might have a more zigzag line because your hair grows toward your eyebrows. But even if your hair is very short, um, pay attention, and you'll notice that your hair, no matter how short it is, grows all the way down by your ears. Okay, if you have short hair, you won't do this part that's down by your mask. It'll go from ear across the top to ear. Okay, if you have curly hair, use a curly line. If you have wavy hair, use a wavy line. Try to make it look like the shape of your hair. Okay, um, I'm gonna open this up and you'll notice that my hair is cut off when I open it up. So I need to redraw the long part of my hair inside when I take off my mask. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, next I'm gonna draw my nose. Um, and I like to start with what I call a tree trunk line for the bridge of my nose. And the bridge is the part that comes down from between your eyes, down the middle. So I'm gonna draw two lines that look a little bit like a tree trunk that shows my nose coming down the center of my face. Um, underneath that, I do a very small U shape that is the part that's between my nostrils. And then I add a little hook on each side. And the hook on each side is my nostrils kind of pointing down because I'm looking straight ahead, okay? And then with a C shape and a backward C shape, or parentheses, I can create the sides of my nostrils, and that looks more like a realistic person's nose. If you'd like to do kind of a cartoon nose, you could use a line like that for your nose. You could use kind of an L shape for your nose. You could use kind of a backwards S kind of shape for your nose, um, if you would rather. But that's a more realistic looking nose. Okay, for my mouth, um, it has three parts. First part is a crescent shape for my smile. It should be about as wide as the middle of your eyes. The second part is my lips, and they go on the outside of the crescent. My top lip has a very little bump in the middle, and my lips are very thin because when you smile, it kind of stretches them out wide. And my bottom lip is smooth, has no bump, okay? And then inside my mouth are my teeth. And when you smile, you can usually only see your top teeth, not your bottom teeth. I like to draw each tooth by itself, starting in the middle, working my way out. And when you smile, your cheeks get pushed to the outside, so you can add a couple smile lines, okay? Um, that's the basic drawing. The next step would be to create your background. So when you close your drawing, you can add some simple lines radiating out from you like you are a star. You can add a design to your mask. And then when you open it, this space here between your ears and the fold, 
um, can reveal something else about you. And you can take a look at the other examples that I've shared. Um, you can add words to this. You can add um, pictures if you play soccer. You can fill your background with soccer balls. Or if you like to read, you can fill your background with books. Um, but you can have that be something about you that we learn whenever we open up the drawing.